Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God's the people here for a bit. Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? See the God of the Bible, look, his word shall stand, okay? You have Bashim Yahushai, look, look, he already he calling the shots, right? See, the Heavenly Father already said what was going to happen from the beginning to the end. Can't nobody stop prophecy. He said he's not a man that he should lie. Everything is written up in the scripture. Look, Yahweh is a man of war. If he says he wants war, who are you to say war ain't going to happen, man? The God of the Bible said, look, he's a man that he, he ain't got a lie. He said he ain't going to repent. The word repent means to turn back. He's not going to turn back the prophecies written up in the scriptures, man. The God of the Bible said, look, look, I'm going to do something. Look, I'm going to do it. You ain't going to be able to stop my words. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. I make peace and create evil. Meaning them bad times that you see going on throughout the four corners of the earth. Who's doing it? The God of the Bible, man. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. The most I said, look, he ain't got to lie about nothing. If he say something going to happen, you can best believe that it's going to happen, man. All right? And these words don't go out void. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make a lie, so ain't nobody up there making decisions for your how about Shina Rashad. He does what he wants to do, right? I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands, man. Alright? For I lift up my hands to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword, and my hand take hold on judgment. I will render vengeance, 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 vengeance to my enemies. And will reward them that hate me, man. See, the God of the Bible is setting everything up. He says, look, look, he forms the light, creates the darkness. He makes peace and he creates evil, man. Meaning them bad times. Who are you? Look, look, who, who are you? Flesh. You got flesh trying to tell the God of the Bible what's going to happen. Nah. Isaiah 55 and 11. Matter of fact, I start at 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. This is the Heavenly Father speaking, the Most High Yahweh. He said his thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts and look, look and who's gonna stop that who's gonna stop the mind of your how about shim yahushai look the god the bible said look i'm gonna do what i want to do look look i want war everything that's written up in the scriptures is gonna happen man all right everything the god the bible said look look i'm taking those nations over there to the to the middle east and they're going to fight, damn it. There ain't nobody coming home. The God of the Bible got his eyes on this place. Everything that's written up in the scriptures is going to happen. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath 
and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, meaning this land right here. Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, aka America, man, he's going to lay it desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And you can look, and can't nobody stop that, man. Can't nobody stop the words of your house about Shimon Shalom. It's going to happen. You might not like it, you might not accept it, but look, can you stop it? No. Isaiah 46. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. That's a power right there. You know? He declared the end from the beginning, man. And from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, man. And we prophesying of those things. This is a year of prophecy, right? We prophesy of war, rumors of wars, uprisings of the people, famine, calamities, tribulation, suffering. See, Yahweh, the Most High Yahweh, he already declared the end from the beginning. He already de declared this place's demise, man. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures. Look, the God of the Bible going to do whatever the hell he want, man. All right? The God of the Bible says he's going to bring evil upon this place, all right? So he's going to bring war upon this place. Look, the God of the Bible said, look, my counsel is going to stand. What I say is going to happen, right? Can't nobody say what they're going to do. I'm going to say what I want to do. St. Matthew 24. You know? And 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Why, why is all these things going to come to pass? Because the God of the Bible's counsel shall stand. What's the God of the Bible? What's your have about Shemar Shai's counsel? These words, man. Okay? And the man is speaking it, right? You know? The Lord said, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So the God of the Bible just not getting started. For nation shall rise against nation. Even though you people don't want it to happen. It's going to happen. Why? Because it's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. The Most High is not a man that he shall lie, right? And there shall be famines, right? And pestilence, enough diseases, and earthquakes in diverse places. And guess what? All these are the beginning of sorrows and can't nobody deliver you out of the clutches of your how about Shemel Shah. I just read that. I just read that, man. These words are not going to go out void. Let's go back to Isaiah. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. You can't stop the words of the Bible, man. Every, the God of the Bible said he ain't turning nothing back. For when they shall say peace and safety, guess what? This sudden destruction shall come upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. And look, and they shall not escape. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end... It shall speak. What's the vision? The prophecies, right? And, it, and they're speaking loud and clear right about now. Look, and not lie. Precept for Numbers 23 and 19. Though it tarry, though it seem like it's taking a long time for these prophecies to be fulfilled, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will truly come. Because these words are faithful and true. It will not tarry, man. These words are faithful and true. It will not tarry. Everything that we read it is going to come to pass. And look, and can't nobody stop it. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. 
Jump it down to three. A time to kill. And a time to heal. A time to break down. And a time to build up. And you have by Shemel Shai. Look, he, he's in a time of killing, man. You know? A time to weep. And a time to laugh. This is a time to be weeping right about now. Going to the house of mourning. A time to break down. And a time to build up. He says, it's a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. This is the time of mourning. Great mourning, right? Jump it down to verse 7. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. We speak in the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace, man. All right? And the scriptures say, woe to that bloody city. It is all full of lies, death and destruction to that bloody city, a.k.a. America, a.k.a. Babylon, man. You know, 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Tell them what's going to happen before it happened, right? Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. And let not the incredulity mean an unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord. These are the words of the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And you can't stop it. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You know, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Now we in the time frame and we in that generation of the wicked being took down. The God of the Bible words will stand. He's going to do whatever he want to do, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua said, look, my castle shall stand, man. All right. Everything that's written up in the Bible is going to stand, man. All right, we're blowing that trumpet right now. Prepare for war. It's a time of war and it's a time for peace, man. Nahum chapter 3 verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. Woe means destruction. It is all full of lies and robbery. And the prey depart of not. This queendom, aka corporation, look, won't set up to reign forever. Now the guy in the Bible, and look, he's going to bring judgment upon this place, right? And the guy in the Bible told us to just bring out this word. Everything that's written up in the scriptures is going to come to pass, man. The guy in the Bible said, yeah, look, Yahweh Bashim Elshah told us, look, just go out there and teach my word. That's the only thing I need you to do is go teach my word. Because my determination is to gather the nations. And I get that. I close that out with that. This is Zephaniah. I started I started three and one. Zephaniah chapter three verse one. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Woe means destruction and death. What, what is filthy and polluted? This place right here, this land called America, Babylon, right? To the oppressing city, man. An oppression making for wise man, man. This is an oppressing city, okay? All it does is it oppresses people, mainly you Israelites, right? And the God of the Bible said, woe unto it, right? Jumping down to verse 8, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And who's the prey? These other nations, man. Starting off with Edom, right? For my determination, for his determination, right? It's to gather the nations. And that's what you see going on over there in the Middle East. The God of the Bible is gathering the nations, right? For that third world war. That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, his righteous anger. Even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, man. And what the scriptures say, the ancient wars was fought with a whole lot of noise and garments rolled in blood. But this right here, this right here shall be with burning and fear of fire. Shalom.